The distinction between what is legal and what is illegal is usually clear, but drawing a line between what is ethical and what is unethical can be more difficult. Let's take a look at the ethical issues of IT. Some information systems professionals believe that information technology offers many opportunities for unethical behavior, particularly because of the ease of collecting and disseminating information. Cybercrime, cyber fraud, identity theft, and intellectual property theft are on the rise. Nearly 15 million U.S. residents have their identity stolen every year with a total loss of over $50 billion. This means that one identity is stolen every two seconds with an average loss of $3,500.16. No organization controls the whole web, so who decides what content should be put on it? Two types of information are available on the web, public and private. Although U.S. citizens do not want the government controlling web access, many parents are concerned about what their children are exposed to while using the web, such as pornography, violence, and adult language. Intellectual property is the legal umbrella covering protections that involve copyrights, trademarks, trade secrets, and patents for the creation of the mind developed by people or businesses. Generally, copyright laws protect tangible materials such as books, drawings, and so forth. Copyright laws do have some exceptions, however, usually under the Fair Use Doctrine. This exception means that you can use copyrighted material for certain purposes, such as quoting passages of a book and literary reviews. One aspect of intellectual property that has attracted attention recently is cyber squatting, which is registering, selling, or using a domain name to profit from someone else's trademark. Some believe that information technology and the internet have created a digital divide between the information rich and the information poor. Although prices have been decreasing steadily, computers still are not affordable to all people. Children, in particular, are often victims of this digital divide. Those without computers or web access at home, as well as students who cannot afford computer equipment, are at a disadvantage and can often fall behind in their education. Students without access to a wide array of resources on the web have more difficulty writing papers and learning about topics of interests.